Welcome back to Appetite for the Outdoors. I'm Chef Chad McIntyre, and today we're gonna to be doing a stewed wild boar dish. The boar that we're gonna be using, we've actually harvested out on the Noose River here in North Carolina. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we're gonna put in our diced bacon into our Carolina cooker, four and a half quart enamel cast iron pot. Now we'll have the bacon starting to cook down and crisp up right here. We're gonna go ahead and put our butter into our 10 and a half inch cast iron pan and let this get nice and brown before we put our mushrooms in. Once the butter is melted, we're gonna go ahead and put in our mushrooms. So now the mushrooms are cooked right here. We're gonna go ahead and take this off the heat and this is gonna go into the dish last. So we're gonna get this out of our way. We're gonna go ahead and turn the heat off on this bacon right here and we're gonna take the bacon out of the grease, and set this off to the side. So the next step in this, we're gonna go ahead and prepare the pork right here and get this seasoned up and get it dredged in the flour. So now we've got our seasoned pork dredged right here in the flour. The next step is gonna be get it in back into the bacon grease here and get a nice color on it. All right, so we're gonna take the last of our seared meat out of the pan. And then while this heat's still on, we're gonna go ahead and go in with our ingredients back on the bacon, all of our carrots and onions and celery, our diced tomatoes, our tomato paste, and we're gonna go ahead and put in our cup of red wine, the garlic, and our bay leaves, and then carefully incorporate the meat back into the dish. And then we're gonna add in our beef stock. Now you wanna add enough in to kind of cover the meat, but you don't wanna make it too soupy. Now we're gonna turn our heat down to about a medium low, and this is gonna cook for about the next four to five hours. Man, this smells incredible quick stir like that and you're done. It's a great dish right here. You can serve it with potatoes or rice or cornbread. You can even eat it by itself. As always, it's great to take wild game in the outdoors, but it's even better when you can incorporate it into a meal.